ndugu zangu wakulima wa amwani kwanza naomba kuchukua fursa hii na kumshukuru sana Mwenyezi Mungu ya kutujalia afya uzima na uwezo wa leo kuifikisha siku hii katika kuisherekea siku ya mwani zanzi mwani ole kina baba ole Celebrated once a year, Seaweed Day has become the symbol of the importance of seaweed farming and of all other types of aquaculture on the archipelago of Zanzibar. The emergence of aquaculture has had a significant economic and social impact for local communities, especially women. And its development has opened discussions on how to farm in the ocean, while also ensuring its conservation. Zanzibar is an island found on the east coast of Africa. Most of the coastal people depend on the ocean for their livelihood. They are fishermen, also women collecting shells, octopus harvesting, and all this contributes to their livelihood. The bulk of our economy is on tourism and, of course, fisheries. The conservation of environment across the marine ecosystems in Zanzibar is uniquely important because without those ecosystems, then our economies may potentially collapse. Over the years, aquaculture has become an essential and sustainable source of income and food for local communities, with seaweed the most commonly farmed product. Seaweed farming is an important industry in Zanzibar. It is employing uh, about 25,000 farmers, and 80% of these farmers are women. Mostly seaweed farming is done in intertidal area in a system called off-bottom culture method. They put their sticks, they tie the ropes, they tie the seaweed, and then wait for it to grow. And then they harvest it, they dry it, and then they sell. Ah, uh -huh in an environment where there's natural flora and fauna, sea grasses and macroalgae, seaweed grows much better than when it is grown in white sand. If we do not conserve the marine plants, it means that we will end up planting seaweed in the sand and the production will go down. The main threat uh, to the seaweed farming is climate change. During the period when it's very, very hot, it affects the seaweed a lot. Water temperature is increasing over the years. If we move the seaweed farming to deep waters, then the seaweed will grow better because in the deeper waters, the temperatures are cooler. So what we need is to actually develop more technologies. Now we have one that is the farming seaweed inside the tubular nets. Na kikiwa tunafanya kazi yetu hii, wenyewe huwa tunafurahia. Kwa sababu tunategemea mapato makubwa zaidi ya kazi hii tunafanya. Nasa kazi hizi tunafanya enye kina mama. Wo wanakuwa ni watu wa kuzamia na kunda kutuwekia mbegu yetu ndo shuhuli ya wanaume. Wakati wa kuweza kama sisi wenyewe tungekuwa tunaweza ku, ku nini 
kuchukua kuogolea eh, kuzamia na hii ndio changamoto kubwa inotugonga kwa kuwa hatuweza hatuna nini mazoezi hayo kwa hivyo bado nguvu tunazo za kuweza kufundishwa kuogolea kwa sababu sisi wanawake hasa si shughuli zetu sasa hivi ndio humu majini seaweed is mostly exported when harvested they dry it and then they put it in bags and it is exported to USA Sweden to China and so on where it is used for making uh, different products like uh, medicinal pharmaceutical products and so on but here right now some of the seaweed after being dried it is made into a powder and then they use it to make seaweed soaps vaseline shampoos and also use it in food products Coastal women normally do not have much cash income. Seaweed farming is something that is giving them cash income, and we have a number of examples where women have benefited from seaweed farming, including building new houses, buying food and clothes for the family. So it is a very useful industry. For a long time here in Zanzibar, we had a lot of seaweed farming, but uh, prices went down and living costs went up, and that's why we thought we have to develop another kind of aquaculture that brings more income and that's why we started with sponge farming we are trying to generate uh, jobs that are related to the sea without fishing or hunting or collecting taking out everything with aquaculture they give something back to the sea and they can harvest in an ecological way to safeguard the jobs we have also to take care of the sea because if the sea is not producing any good water and the organisms are harmed there are no jobs people have also started to culture sea cucumber this is a new initiative people have always been collecting sea cucumber in the wild but now the resources decline so instead of collecting little ones in the ocean they get the seeds from a hatchery We are doing three species of uh, sea cucumber, fish, and crab at a time, and this is a very important, uh, unique for the aquaculture of Zanzibar. One objective is uh, producing of uh, fingerlings and supply to the farmers, and the second objective is uh, capacity building to the local farmers. The economy is based on the intertidal areas and these are the areas that are very much used by other activities such as tourism, fisheries and the fact that that narrow platform of resource is being heavily contested by these competing sectors that alone gives mariculture our culture its very unique sense of vulnerability. We have so many hotels around And when seaweed farming was started most of the hotels they didn't want seaweed farms to be in front of the hotels but then later on the tourists also realized they like to see seaweed farming so now women are taking the tourists to see their farms they also use their products to sell to the tourists so this is now benefiting uh, the community and the tourists also see something new but also one thing which should be done now is um, marine spatial planning because there are some places where tourists are doing kiting in the areas where the women are culturing the seaweed. So then there is a need to have a plan where this area is for seaweed and this area is for kiting so that there is no conflict. We need involvement of the communities and the tourism industry in the context of mutual coexistence. We have to understand that mariculture is based on 
an area we call as a critical habitat, a habitat full of sequence ecosystems, mangrove ecosystems, and of course the lagoons that uh, sort of support the coral reefs. We do have three marine conservation areas. 80% of our mariculture sites are within the declared MCAs, and that is the best example of how conservation can coexist with community mariculture activities. So the key message in our conservation policy is about co-management. The idea is to involve communities in collective responsibility of their own resource base. We are integrating the needs or the development needs of coastal communities. It's a pleasure to be here today and to get the opportunity to bring some women from the community who are involved in aquaculture activities. The Aco Project is funded by the French Development Agency, and it's aiming at gathering examples of synergies and opportunities between aquaculture and marine conservation, looking at, of course, at uh, sustainable livelihoods and co coastal communities. Others may call and call when they ask their question, how about coastal and marine resources? Here with us, we've got different institutions that are present today, as well as private sector. Community-based NGOs are also here with us. And the main objective of this workshop is to um, find a synergies between the private sector, between the government, and sustainable development. We have to find an integrated approach to deal with conservation of, of environment and sustainable development. Aqua Coco project is the entry point that is going to support us engage the dialogue on blue economy, a blue economy that is customized to Zanzibari priorities. I actually believe that we can achieve something. We can only get there if we go there together, right? A sustainable aquaculture can help protect marine and coastal ecosystems, while an efficient conservation of these same ecosystems can support aquaculture. Ensuring food security and the protection of life underwater throughout the world are among our most important sustainable development goals. To achieve these, we must recognize the undeniable connection between the exploitation and conservation of marine resources and ecosystems.